quiet Democrats. Why y'all so damn quiet all of a sudden on babies in cages? Huh? Why? Trump was a monster, remember? A monster! Ah! A monster. Because he was putting babies in cages. Except he wasn't putting babies in cages. He was doing the same damn thing Obama did. The guy who actually built the cages. Uh, he was taking kids that were being brought in by sometimes relatives, sometimes not relatives, or sometimes just coming in by themselves because somebody had chucked them out into the desert to find their way to the border. Well, they got to do something with these kids. You come in and you're with your mom and your mom's getting ready to spend a few nights in the pokey for getting caught illegally entering the country. Well, what do you do with the baby? Do you put the baby in jail with mom? No. no that's You don't do that. That's fucked up. So what do you do? Well, you come up with some alternate plan is what you do, and this is the alternate plan. The alternate plan is you hold on to them, you put them in some room with other kids, probably got a few social workers in there, they're playing video games, they're watching Disney movies, they got juice boxes and snacks and whatever else. They're not being chucked into a damn holding cell down at the county lockup like you were pretending. All right, well, now Biden's bringing in a bunch of cargo containers and putting more kids because he got extra kids now. He got extra kids to be holding on to, and Biden's got to... All right, so why are they doing that? Well, they're doing that because they never did change the laws that would make all this go away. And the reason they... And I'm talking about both parties. Neither party's interested in changing the laws. That's their little out. They can pretend like they're fighting over that, and then they don't have to do anything about the border. And so nothing gets done about the border. And let's not forget, Republicans and Democrats both want that border open. Republicans want it for the cheap labor, and Democrats want it for the votes. And neither one gives a shit about reality of uh, what it does to the economy or anything else. They'll concoct some damn study, don't pay for it, that'll tell you, oh, they're good for the economy. No, they're not good for the fucking economy. If they're good for the economy, why did all those liberal cities freak out when Trump said he was going to take all the illegal uh, caravan people and send them to like LA or wherever, the sanctuary cities. They freaked out because remember, it's like all these celebrities were like, that just shows he has no soul. Yeah, it's good for the economy though, remember? It's going to help, remember? So how's, he's sending them to a place that wants them, remember? But no, 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 no. You want to send them to Laramie, Wyoming for some goddamn reason. Why do you want to do that? You know, Laramie doesn't want them. So why are you doing that? You're doing that because you want to impose yourself on people. So where are you at on these babies in cages shit? Huh? Biden's doing it way more than Trump, way more than Obama. And you're quiet. Where is the media outrage telling you to be pissed? Do you not see that the only reason you get pissed is because your phone tells you to get pissed? Do you not see that you are not as media savvy and internet savvy and special as you fucking think you are, that you're actually gullible and naive and a bit stupid. And every time somebody tries to tell you something and you just shut it out because you're special and you're that generation that was raised with the internet and you get it in ways that nobody else really gets. And everybody else that's been on this planet for a little while is going, no, 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 they've been doing this shit for a long time, using a lot of different methods, and now they're using the internet and you're too special to hear it. So, babies in cages, where the fuck are you? Huh? Are you not a serious person? Do you not want to be fucking taken seriously anymore? Where the fuck are you? You cherry picking little pussy. You show up on my wall talking any shit once every four months like you do. And I'm going to drag your ass around in worse ways than I have so far. I'm over it. I'm tired of you motherfuckers. You're full of shit.